welcome back to another video in my makeup declutter series or whatever I'm calling this. This time it's concealers and I have a lot to get rid of. Uh, so just to make it easier, I have a lot of concealers that are the same uh, exact concealer, just in different shades. So for brevity, I am not going to go through every single shade. I'll just hold up one to represent the entirety. So let's just get started. I'm just going to grab. Here we go. Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. I can tell you right now this was bought because of uh, Lisa Eldridge. How many of you ran out and bought this after seeing her videos? I have it in the shade SCO2. Kind of forgot I had it. I'm going to bring this back out. So this is in the keep pile. I think these harder concealers, you can keep these as long as they're not dried up and mine is still feels the same to me. So this is definitely in the keep pile. I will only list in the description box the ones I'm keeping. So these are um, the Pro Conceal and Correct palettes and I have them in the shade light and medium depending on, um, I bought them one for me and then if I ever do any uh, work on any of my friends, because I don't do, I'm not like a makeup artist so I don't hire myself out, but if I'm ever helping any of my friends with their makeup, just to extend my concealer range. So I have them in light and medium and there is a kind of a corrector shade in each of these palettes and I'm definitely keeping those. I love these. All right, this is one of the greatest concealers ever made. Highly recommend having one of these in your purse because they are great for on the go touch-ups. It's the Urban Decay 24 seven concealer. I have them in two different shades and um, they're just great. They are a solid pencil stick the only drawback, of course, they need to be sharpened. They don't twist up and you just, not for under eye, but for blemishes and touch up because it's a, a pencil and it's a drier formula. It does blend nicely and sticks to, let's just say, blemishes that have texture. If you catch my drift. So great to have. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. This is the original packaging, or at least the packaging that's original to me. Haven't used this one up, but I should probably just chuck it because if they've changed the packaging, that's, it's old. So this is in the shade light and this is going in the throw out pile because I have many more versions of it in the newer packaging. This is the, who makes this? Maybelline Dream Lumi pen. I have this in the shade uh, Radiant. And I'm gonna keep this around because I wanna demonstrate, I'm gonna do one side of my face this is, I've meant to do this for a long time, a video where one side of my face is drugstore and one is high end. A lot of people think this is a dupe for the MAC Prep and Prime. Is it though? This one, I don't talk about all the time. I'm actually wearing it today. This is the Clinique Continuous Coverage. Uh, um, that's what it's just called, Clinique Continuous Coverage. This can double as a foundation if you wanna shear it out. It has SPF 15. I'm in the shade Creamy Glow 08, and uh, it's very similar to, in concept, I guess, to the Estee Lauder Maximum Coverage, I think. I'm wearing it today as a spot concealer. If you actually have really dry skin, it's quite thick, so you would think, no, maybe that's not great for dry skin, but it actually is because it shears out so nicely and it doesn't cling to my dry patches, so I'm keeping this. Clarins uh, Instant Concealer, love this stuff. Don't reach for this much in the summer. It's very lightweight, which you would think would be great for the summer, but it melts. I feel like it doesn't hold up great under extreme heat, at least the heat I live with in San Antonio. So great if you're not dealing with really hot weather. So reach more for it in the winter and it's lovely. I use this under my eyes and on blemishes. It's just a really nice lightweight formula. It does cover, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's long wear. Talked about this recently, um, Rimmel Match Perfection. Oh yeah, in my Where Are They Now um, video. I am not going to keep this. I've had it a long time and I just don't reach for it except to do the Where Are They Now videos and I just did it. So I'm gonna throw this out. I have a collection of Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I really keep these around for drugstore videos. I don't really reach for them anymore. I used to love them. I think they're great for if you if your budget um, does not allow for a higher end concealer, these are excellent, but I do prefer personally the Estee Lauder ones. Those are the ones I reach for. So I think these are gonna go bye-bye. But see, I need them for drugstore tutorials. See, that's like, 
If I were not doing YouTube videos, I probably would just throw them away, but mm, I'll put them in the maybe pile. They're over there. Okay, this just has to go. It's really, really old. This is from Boots. Uh, really, it's from Target. It's from the brand Boots, number seven. It's a great, great concealer. It's a stick foundation, stick concealer. It's very dry. I bought this because of, oh, what's her screen name now? The Daily Cupcake? Cup, it used to be Cupcake Cartel. I'll link her channel below. She recommended it and it, she's right. It's a great, found. it's a great, I keep calling it foundation. It's a great concealer, but mine is so, so, so old that I, I, it needs to go and I, and I don't reach for it anymore and it's a little too light for me, but it's a really awesome concealer. This is a Dermablend concealer that was sent to me and it just, it's not a bad concealer, but it's actually meant to be an illuminator and it's too dark for me as an illuminator. It's just, it's not, so um, that's getting thrown away as well. This is the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and it's pretty much empty, so it's throwing away. Here is a new one. This one is not, this one's in the Illuminator shade. And this one I'm going to give to a friend because I like the concept, but it creases on me and gets in all my fine lines, and I am about 15 years too old to wear this. It just doesn't work on me. This I picked up in New York. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I am going to give this to a friend. I don't like it. I don't get the hype. It does nothing for me. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I use it every single day. All the writing is worn off. It's great. Love it. A Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Stinks for under eye. Great for blemishes. Stays. MAC Prep and Prime. Which one is this? Radiant Rose, every day, use it as a corrective uh, concealer. So this goes under concealer. This goes on first, pat into the skin, then you conceal. This corrects the dark circles, then you conceal. Ah, you know, I forgot about this. This is the Dermablend Smooth Liquid Camo Concealer in the shade Nutmeg. This is my summer concealer. This stuff is awesome. I held onto the Maybelline Fit Me's because these are all my summer shades and a couple winter shades, but I'm gonna throw these away and when I need a drugstore concealer, I'll just buy a new one because these are old. These are like two or three years old. Okay, another Lisa Eldridge made me buy it. This is the Clinique Airbrush Concealer. It's very similar to the Dream Lumi and I think, is this the, sh this is just the normal I'm gonna keep it around. I'm not ready to part with it yet. I might have to do a compare and contrast to other ones. So there you go. Okay, this thing is like the pen that never ends. This is the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat. I got it in the collector edition. It's a highlighter pen. Um, I don't love it, but it was like the first really high-end highlighter pen that I ever got and it will not die. Like I keep thinking I'm gonna use it in my next empties video and it's never been used up. So I'm just gonna keep going. I'm determined. Alrighty. Oh my God. I have a thousand of these. This is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Tarte did send this to me. I've tried, I've used quite a bit of it up. If creaseless concealer? Really Tarte? You think so? I say no. Um, this one is almost all the way used up, so I'll throw this one away, but I have the entire shade range and the rest of them. Um, if I, I think I swatched a lot of these, I will confirm if there's, and the ones that have not been swatched will go to uh, charity and the ones that have been swatched will go to girlfriends. CoverGirl plus Olay the Depuffer. Uh, I did the video for them a long time ago. I do like it, but this is the oh no, this is my sh no, this is not my shade, not my shade. So this is going to girlfriends. Make Forever HD came out with their Ultra HD concealers and corrective concealers. Can I just? Let's just take a moment. Do you remember when everyone on YouTube was just like, oh my God, these are amazing. These are the best things ever. I can't live without them. I guess they can, because did you ever hear about them again after they were released? No, you didn't. Can I just point out, I just want to say, I was the only one, I think, on YouTube that said, you know what, I don't like them. They don't, I don't like them, they creased on me, they didn't cover up anything, I disliked them. I don't want to give them to anybody because I didn't like them, but I will, because maybe somebody will like them. All those other girls on YouTube loved them, so maybe I was just the only one. But then again, like I said, nobody else talked about them after the month they were released, so what happened to the undying love for them? I'm just saying. I'll put them in my girlfriend pile. 
uh, Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I just got this and I just answered my own question. I now have another drugstore concealer because I do like it. Ah, this was the one I was looking for. Okay, the other Clinique Airbrush Concealer that I got is in, the Radiant, is in a pink shade, very similar to Radiant Rose, so I will do a compare and contrast for that one. This is a Wet n Wild highlighting and concealing pen I picked up in a haul a while back and it's awful, so I'm just throwing it out. More Tarte. I noticed Tarte stopped sending me stuff, probably because I kept saying I didn't like their stuff. Oh well. Um, sorry, but I'm not sorry. Okay, so Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer didn't like it. That's why you never heard about it. I didn't like it. This will go in the girlfriend pile. Another Touche Clot. This was sent to me. This is in the corrective shade, Violet. I should Google this. What do you do with Violet? It's, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I will put this in the giveaway pile. I'm not, I should just Google it, but I didn't. Another MAC Prep and Prime, but this one is in Light Boost. This was recommended by Tanya Burr. Um, I'll keep it around. I don't really reach for it. It's like more of a yellow brightening one. I should just, I'll use it. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer. I'm gonna put this in the giveaway pile, um, but I'll probably send this to my niece um, that I sent my Urban Decay stuff to because this is not great on older skin. This does crease up and she's not old, so this will work for her. This is the Physician's Formula. I don't even know if they still make this. Conceal RX, it's green and green candles out red. So very, very occasionally I have a very red something going on in my face. And the idea is you put the green down first and really work it in and blend it in and then you layer over your normal concealer and it's supposed to cancel out the redness. Mm, I don't know if it really works or if it just makes me feel better, but I'm keeping this around because you just, you know, when you've got one of those big honking red things on your face, you'll try anything to make it go away. And then the last product is the Becca Under Eye Brightener. It did not work for me. I think it's because there's not enough of a contrast. I don't have enough of a blue under eye circle and I don't have enough deepness to my skin tone. I don't think there's enough contrast, but I have someone in mind that will really enjoy this. So I'm gonna give it to her. I have three distinct piles. And I feel like I have purged. I'm getting better at this. The foundations were hard. The concealers were a lot easier and I'm getting a roll. I think, I think I'm getting the hang of this. So please, in the comments below, let me know what category you would like to see next. Eyeshadow, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's gonna be hard. Eyeshadow, I might have to do that in sections. Eyeshadow palettes, singles, what have you, lipsticks, lip glosses, eyeliners, I got a lot. I have a lot I need to get rid of. It's just too much. So let me know what you're most curious about. I will try to honor your requests or I may just look at the biggest pile and go, that's what's gotta go next. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you like what I did up here, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, check out the video that went up last. Um, that was my Derm Store haul. I demoed some of the products that I picked up there. Let me know if you enjoy that. As always, I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Buddy, I just did a little haul from Derm Store and instead of just holding up the stuff and telling you what I got, I thought I'd do a little demo and talk through as we go.